I'm Dr. Yusuf. I'm going to be presenting to you this case uh, of uh, routine cataract case until the end. Uh, I, I received quite a few uh, referrals uh, for pigment dispersion syndrome, uh, secondary to lens implants, the single piece lens implants being in the sulcus. And simply the primary surgeon was not uh, sure that the haptic was in the bag. It just simply did not uh, discover this uh, complication at the end of the surgery. Uh, when we implant those single piece lenses they are folded and they take time time to unfold so while it's unfolding it can the haptic can come out of this the bag into the sulcus and if you don't confirm that the the both haptics are in the sulcus you will you will fall into this uh, trap and uh, this will result in in long-term uh, complication for the patient with the form of pigment dispersion uh, sometimes uveitis and uh, glaucoma and uh, those lenses might need to be repositioned or explanted. And the best thing is to, to, for it to be discovered early enough so that it can be easily repositioned before the capsule uh, fibros. So the case is going uh, well, routine, uh, just uh, routine FACO, uh, removing the, uh, the nucleus, and the followed by epinucleus, and of course, can clean up using the J cannula. Uh, this is the epinucleus. Uh, when you find that epinucleus is uh, stuck underneath the inc uh, incision, uh, don't try to get it out with the fake handpiece because you're going to end up with the uh, complication. So I use the J cannula for that. Uh, it's much safer. So you can see it's dragging the cortical material away from the, the sub incisional area and safely and, and efficiently cleaning the capsule uh, without falling into this uh, complication trap. Uh, J-cannula is very safe for cortical cleanup, but you have to know what you're doing otherwise you end up with complications uh, if you're not sure about the, where the location of the tip. So this is the ProVisc inject being injected uh, into the capsular bag. And the lens is, the, the intraocular lens is, uh, is a ZCB00, uh, uh, the, the thickness uh, one piece. The now it lo looks okay, but if you notice that the this trailing haptic is is actually uh, uh, opening, it disappeared under the iris, supposedly in into the capsular bag, but in this case it wasn't. Okay. Just routine cortical cleanup and uh, irrigation aspiration while the lens is in the bag, which is much safer than having this done without the lens in the bag. It's a, we use the lens as a shield uh, to protect the capsule. So while, while I'm doing the uh, see uh, while I'm doing the uh, hydro section, I noticed that this haptic is not in good position. So I checked it out, discovered that it's, it's not in good position. So I went in with an, the IA as a chamber maintainer and I'll use the Sinsky hook to pull it out of the, the sulcus and make sure it goes into the into the back. Uh, some of the Sinsky hopes are, are sharp enough to open the capsule, so you have to be careful. Uh, some of them, if you even t touch it, you'll find it's, uh, it's spooking you. So it's, uh, you have to be careful with the Sinsky. It's not completely uh, blunt at the tip. Some of them, especially after reuse, it can, it can be uh, a little sharp, so be careful. Uh, it happened to me one time that uh, the, one of the Sinsky hooks opened the capsule, actually, while positioning the lens. So you have to be careful with that. So the, the haptic went back into the, uh, into the bag. And we're good. Thank you.